Today we are going to show you a full walkthrough home tour of this brand new construction model house behind me by Polte Homes located in Chatsworth in the San Fernando Valley of Los Angeles. And these homes can be purchased today by the price shown down here below. These are the specs of the property. If you have any questions at all, shoot us an email or text, but let's give you the full tour of this house. Starting with the landscaping here, as we walk up a couple of steps, this rail also will not be here once this home is purchased. This is just because it is a model home and there will be people going in and out of this property. Landscaping is beautiful to both sides. On my right side, left side of the home, there is an outdoor seating space where you can just hang out, enjoy the front yard, the property, the mountainous terrain out here in Chatsworth. Just take a quick look at the mountains here in Chatsworth. Just a gorgeous area overall. We are in the northwest portion of the San Fernando Valley, and it's a beautiful day today. Not a single cloud in the sky, but as I go to the opposite side of this front yard, we have your driveway, two-car garage. Looking up at the exterior of the home, you've got that classic Tuscan stonework surrounding the entire of the property with a red tiled roof above. But now I'm sure you guys want to see the inside of the home. So let's take a step up through this maroon door and show you what's inside. As we make it inside this beautiful brand new model home, there is a lot to see in this one, guys. So try to keep up with this home tour. Also, if this is your first time on my channel, my name is Darren Kriz. I'm a local real estate agent. I have a team out here. We help clients buy, sell, and invest in property just like this every single day. If you have any questions about this neighborhood in particular or any kind of real estate throughout the Los Angeles area, feel free to reach out, shoot us an email, shoot us a text, but let's show you this house Follow me to the left side. This is the first room we are taking a look at. It is a nice common living space. We look up to a bronze modern chandelier, high ceilings, and I love the wallpaper on the ceilings and throughout the room as well. It almost looks like it's a marble material here in the room. Custom walls on the left side, stage with a desk. This would make for a perfect office space or just a lounge area. Looking out to the front yard and that seating space out there, but let's keep on moving. As we walk by the front door, we're gonna go down into this little nook where we see our powder room, freestanding Kohler sink, tub, and then dark tile going from floor to ceiling here in this space, and a textured wallpaper behind the toilet. Two modern light fixtures above. Also, there are a lot of upgrades throughout this home that you're gonna be having to add a little bit more money into once you purchase this house. You can mix and match the exteriors with the interiors in this specific community. But let's go in here. This is just the coat closet right there. You walk into the home, put your coats in that closet, maybe go to the restroom, start your day. Staircase to my right, we'll show you what's up there later on. And then this is the formal dining area beautiful sleek tile surrounding your dual sided fireplace and two light fixtures on both sides with woven rope like material. And we've got your dining table and sliding doors that lead out to a side yard where we have it staged with some plant life, greenery, plant whatever you want right there in the side yard. Gallery wall on the opposite end of the dining table and now let's walk by the staircase and follow me through this space. This is where we see the main areas of the home, open concept, living room and kitchen flowing together as one. Let's walk to the right side and show you the living room. There's enough space for two large couches facing away from each other. Then we've got your large flash screen TV up on the wall. Behind it, we see dark wood tile going up to the ceiling, and then this is the other end of your dual-sided fireplace. We also do have a sleek vent above the fireplace that gives it a nice modern look. Nothing is just too bulky and out in the open. Everything is just clean in this home overall. It makes for a homey house. And on my left side, we do see sliding glass doors that will open up to the outdoor patio, kitchen, and backyard, and it gives this home a lot more of that SoCal living, the indoor outdoor flow once you have this corner completely opened up. Then we've got your formal dining area, modern light fixture above this dining table. You can seat eight people easily, picture window looking out to your jacuzzi and that backyard. 
on my left side. Now we've got your wine wall with several different racks for your wine bottles to display right next to your dining table. I mean, just take a look at this wall. It would definitely impress any guest that would be sitting here for any nice meal that you might be serving up to someone in this home. Quartz countertops with the gray veins right beneath this wine wall and then storage space down below in your wood finishes with soft closing drawers right there. But now I'm gonna show you what this beautiful luxury kitchen looks like. So between the kitchen and this wine wall, there is this little nook that wraps around into another living area. And there will be a door that is gonna be put in before you enter in this area. So it's gonna be completely private and attached to another bedroom that you'll see in a second. It also does look out to the backyard where you see views of the entire San Fernando Valley. We have one light fixture in the direct center. And just imagine this as a nice place for the kids to hang out, watch a movie, play video games because it is attached to their very own bedroom. I mean, when you're a kid growing up, wouldn't this be the dream room to have? It's super private from everyone. Or this would make for a great guest bedroom and living area overall for anyone that you might have staying over at your home. Maybe your parents would be staying over as well. They can live here. They have your own bathroom, full bath and shower in here, glass door in this shower with your vanity on this left side. And now let's go back down this hallway and show you this bedroom, carpeted bedroom. It's not the biggest bedroom that we're gonna see in the home, but there is a walk-in closet. But the reason that this carpeted bedroom area isn't as big is because you have your own separate living room that can be closed off as well. There will be another door closing off your bedroom. So, I mean, this might be the best room in the house aside from the primary suite, but just wait until we check that out. And now we're gonna leave this hallway, leave the entirety of this living space and go back out into the main floor. Starting with one of the most massive square center islands you'll ever see with the same bright stone countertops and gray veins that we saw over in the other countertops below that wine wall. Three modern light fixtures hanging above in the, with these bulbs surrounding a little column in the middle. That's a great modern touch. Hanging by chains on the ceiling as well. Also do wanna mention recessed lights and built-in speakers are throughout every room in this entire home. Left side of me, same quartz countertop, six burner gas stove. We've got those classic red knobs and then dual wolf oven down beneath. Backsplashes of the same stone, hood vent, symmetrical cabinetry on both sides. And to the right here, we, we got your Cove dishwasher. Brand new dishwasher, never been touched. Wolf and Cove go together, they coincide. And so does Sub-Zero in your fridge and freezer right here. Just take a quick look at your fridge and freezer. Stainless steel, never been used before. Sub-Zero, best of the best in appliances in this house. And then we've got another Wolf oven. We've got three ovens in this kitchen that you guys have already seen. And then your Wolf microwave slash steamer right above. Little pantry area that leads to your two-car garage and large walk-in pantry. I'll show you this real quick. Walk-in pantry is underneath the staircase. This is a little Harry Potter room. They could have made it just for some storage or make it a pantry area for all your canned goods in there or maybe throw your, the youngest sibling and have them live in that room, but I won't tell anyone. On the right side, we've got more quartz countertops as well as on the backsplash, just more storage space as you head inside this home from the garage. And then this is another coat closet so that, like I said, when you arrive in the home, through your garage, you can hang up your coats here, as well as in the front entrance that you guys saw. But let's keep on moving throughout this kitchen. Breakfast bar seating on the outside of this countertop space that can seat four people. And then more storage space, more countertop space, more cabinetry, windowed cabinetry up above as well. I love the dark wood, the contrast throughout this entire floor from the bright countertops to the dark cabinetry just make this property super elegant in general. But that was everything for this main level. Now follow me outside and let's check out the backyard and some of those views. Here in the backyard, outdoor covered patio space extends almost the entirety of this left wing. Outdoor dining right next to your built-in barbecue grill by Blaze. And then right next to this barbecue grill, what do we have here? It's called the oven. This is your very own home pizza oven. How many of you have a home pizza oven in your backyard? Not many of you, but if you do buy this home, for the price that I talked about in the beginning, I mean, 
you're gonna get a pizza oven in your house. If you're gonna be eating pizza three days a week, there you go, you got an oven. You, you don't have to go to Blaze anymore. And the grill's called Blaze, how ironic. Built-in speakers here in your outdoor patio as well. And now just take a look at this space. Covered awning above, fireplace out here surrounded by this beautiful stonework, and then LOTV up above. As we keep on walking, I like this little nook to my left to put maybe some outdoor lighting, some outdoor plant life, and then it extends all the way to this glass wall where we can see views of the entirety of the San Fernando Valley. Eventually all these dirt lots will have a brand new home on them just like this one. If you wanna purchase one of the lots, you can design the home to your liking. All the finishes inside, mix and match an interior floor plan with the exterior of any one of these three model homes. And you will get these views of the San Fernando Valley looking all the way out to Woodland Hills and the Santa Monica Mountains. But keep on following me throughout this backyard. You also do design your backyard to your liking. You can either add a pool out here or an elevated jacuzzi like we see right here. You can easily fit 10 people and during those cold winter nights or even on nice summer nights, hang out in this jacuzzi, take on the views or step out of the jacuzzi and hang out by the fire pit over here. We've got outdoor seating to both sides, large tree behind. Landscaping is incredible. Maybe add another little garden on this side. On the other side of your jacuzzi, we've got a day bed. And that was everything here in the backyard. I also do like these large stone pillars. You've got three of them holding up the covered awning, but that was everything for this backyard. Now let's go back inside, head upstairs, and show you some of the bedrooms. As we head up the dark wood staircase to the top floor, behind me we do see two chandeliers hanging down from these double-heighted ceilings upon entrance of the home. So where do we even start here? I think I'm gonna wrap around this glass railing and show you what we got. Another small closet for some storage space. And then as we keep on moving, there is a bathroom with a sink and another door to close off where your tub, shower, and toilet is over here. Come take a quick look in here. Tub, shower, that's the tub, that's the tub, that's the toilet actually. I think I just mixed two up. Toilet, tub, shower, why is that a tongue twister? Then you've got these stone slabs against your wall above the tub, but let's get on out of here. And there will be doors put in, one right here for the sink area and then another one to cover the tub and toilet space when someone does purchase this model home. But walk down this hallway with me, dark wood floors and two bedrooms separate this little hallway. Staging is unbelievable by Polte Homes here in Deer Lake Ranch. They do a great job. Large room with a built-in desk on one side, storage space up against this corner, queen size bed, beautiful chandelier that look like you have these steel flowers. And we are front facing looking at your street. Full walk-in closet, carpeted flooring in here, and there is a bathroom so it is en suite. Once again, you've got a Kohler sink, quartz countertops, large tile flooring, shower has a bathtub built in once again. It's always nice to have an en suite bathroom so you don't have to go into the hallway when wanting to do your business. But come on, wrap around the hallway once again with me. This room's a little bit smaller than the last. I love the wallpaper throughout. It almost looks like a, some sort of light gray tile. And we have a queen size bed once again, light fixture above, walk-in closet over here in the corner. And even the closet has a window looking out to the front yard and the street. But the one thing about this bedroom that the other one had, this one does not have a bathroom. So it is not en suite. Sorry about that lamp. But let's keep on moving throughout the rest of this upstairs floor. So if you are living in that room, you gotta walk down this hall and use the bathroom that we showed you in the beginning. Let's keep on moving. Follow me down this way. Now here's another bedroom. What a nice grand entrance into the bedroom with candles on both sides of me and the dark painted walls. But here we are, absolutely gorgeous for your primary suite. Modern light fixture above with the gold detail. We're looking out to their backyard, the cul-de-sac, and the rest of the lots out here. Nobody's gonna block your views, which is amazing. That is definitely a plus in this master bedroom. Custom dark walls throughout. And look at the upgrade in this 
sleek modern tile as well behind your bed. That is a beautiful upgrade. Definitely gives you a luxurious vibe here in your bedroom. But I do like how the center of your bedroom here is separated by a wall and there's two pockets that you can go around. You can go through one space and come out the other. And there's just a private living area out here. Maybe add a couch in the middle, a flat screen TV up on the wall, really do what you wish. But the navy wallpaper does complement this space very well. But we're gonna walk out here to your private balcony. It is actually attached to another space of the upstairs portion of this home that we'll check out in a bit. Large square balcony overlooking the backyard, that covered awning, the incredible views. There's not a cloud in the sky today. Also, if this, if you haven't hit the like button yet, please do so right now. Also subscribe, we're posting videos just like this every single week on the channel, as well as videos about specific neighborhoods in general throughout Los Angeles. I really appreciate it, but let's keep on moving back inside. Follow me into the primary once again. I'm a big fan of this living space area that it is private from where your bed is located. It's nice to have maybe a workspace separate from where you're gonna be sleeping. But follow me down this way once again. You see that? You went one way, I went the other, which is pretty cool. And there's the entrance. But let's check out this primary bathroom. Wow, this is absolutely gorgeous. We've got a freestanding tub and then two linear windows looking into your shower to open up this space a little bit more. Dual vanity on the opposite side, completely symmetrical that separate this space. A sink to each partner is nice and you've got the LED smart mirrors on both sides and the makeup modern light fixture up above, the movie-like lights. And now right next to it, water closet tucked back here. And there's another door actually in the water closet for some more storage for towels or whatever you might need. Love the tile throughout this bathroom, very bright and modern look. Now let me wrap around into this shower. You take a step up and you can see me through these linear windows right here, which is very nice. Like I said, it opens it up a bit. I definitely would have done this or maybe just made a full on glass wall right here instead of just covering it off. Rain shower head up above me. Now come around this side. Actually, first off, there is full walk-in closet right here. Of course, this is the biggest walk-in closet of any room in the home. There are two sides to it, plenty of space for all of the clothes that you would need to survive in this world. But follow me out of here. That was everything in this bathroom except for the other closet. I mean, if that closet was big, what do you think about this one? This one is this one is about twice the size as the other one and it extends a great length all the way back here. If that wasn't enough storage space for you, this better be enough or maybe you should just buy a little less clothes. But now let's head out of this primary suite and show you the rest of what's up here. So come on, keep up. I'm gonna be walking fast. So you fast walk with me, buddy. Here we go. All right, there we go. We're back on the main entrance of your top floor. There's a staircase once again, and then you have a laundry room right here. This is a high-end laundry room. You have a wood tiled backsplash in a chevron pattern. Come over here, look at this. Can you see that? Wood tiled backsplash, chevron pattern, quartz countertops, dark cabinetry once again, and down below, whirlpool, washer and dryer. You also have a sink on the opposite side with that same chevron pattern backsplash we saw on the other side. Two more, or one more bedroom. And then this is your common living area up on your top floor. Two L-shaped couches, contemporary furniture, upgrades to all of the walls in a navy tone. I love the black and white pictures as well. This is how I would probably stage my living area if this were my personal home, honestly. On the other side, flat screen TV up here, quartz countertop, storage space down beneath, and I love the look of the pattern with green shades to it behind the bed there. Storage space on the left with all your built-ins to make this maybe a library room. And then up above, we've got a modern light fixture with gold tones to it throughout. But follow me out here, this is the balcony that I told you about that connected to the primary suite. So once you leave the primary suite, you can enter into that common area and we're back out here looking at the views of the San Fernando Valley. But that was everything for this common space. One more room to check out. Follow me this way through this opening and to the right carpeted flooring once again in here. Light fixture in the center. Walk-in closet actually does have a little 
a little seat right there underneath the window, a little window sill in your walk-in closet. Upper third of the walls have black painted ceilings. And this room is also en suite with a full bathroom. Once again, same finishes that we've been seeing with a built-in bathtub in there, but we don't have to show you everything once again. You kind of got the full sense of what the layout of this home looks like. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. I really appreciate you guys for watching till the end of the video. If you made it this far and haven't hit the like button already, do so kindly right now, hit the subscribe button. Like I said in the beginning, my name is Darren Kriz. I'm a local real estate agent, native Angelino, and we help clients buy, sell, and invest in property just like this every single day. If you have any questions about Deer Lake Ranch, this community in general, or any other real estate questions, in general throughout the Los Angeles area. My team and I are happy to help you guys. Thanks for watching once again. We'll see you on the next video. Peace.